Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. It's Thursday, February 14th. Uh, we have some big news to cover. As reported earlier, JP Morgan launched their own crypto JPM coin. I want to talk about does that impact XRP? Is it a threat to XRP? We're going to go through some facts. Before I go further, this is not financial or investment advice. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Also, thumbs up. So once again, uh, Jamie Dimon pulled the old smoke and mirrors move. Crypto's a scam. Bitcoin's a scam. Don't invest in it. You'll lose all your money. It's garbage. Don't talk to me about it. It's shit. Secretly working on their own crypto. So I hope you guys, I hope this is a learning point for many of you that you can't trust what these people are saying. You got to watch what they're doing. That's why I've always stated, watch what the big money is doing and the government. Their actions speak louder than their words. And this is a typical uh, move they have pulled in the stock market and in other markets, guys, saying one thing in the headlines to set a narrative in the news, but doing the opposite. But I think many of us who are in this crypto market have been in it for a while. We understand that now. Uh, we see the game that's being played with the big money and media to try to set certain narratives. And guess what? Uh, this was also confirmed by Mike Duris of uh, The Block stating that when they inquired uh, a month ago, just a month ago, JP Morgan blockchain execs denied this was in the works. So they have been smoke and mirrors the whole way, guys. And uh, But the great thing about this, this shows you the, the potential of this market and how disruptive this technology is that JP Morgan is so scared of it, they are launching their own so they don't miss the boat. Um, I mean, and keep in mind what the CEO has been making a point to, you know, shit on on crypto as much as possible in the headlines and in uh, you know wherever he, he's at he's taking time to speak about it it's all because that was part of his plan and we see that the rest of the wall street as well your fidelities your td ameritrades your bank of americas all these folks are setting up cryptocurrency and custody services so this is the birth of a new asset class it's going to take off and grow and jp morgan is trying to be a part of that now so of course, a bank releasing their own coin, all of a sudden the conversation went to, oh my God, what's going to happen to XRP? People were getting scared. People are worried. You also have the Fudsters. The Fudsters were like, oh yeah, we got ammo now. We're going to go around saying XRP dead, XRP going to zero. X this is going to kill XRP. Um, those people are grossly, grossly misinformed and they've only... Uh, they haven't done research. They don't. They don't understand the problem that the real world problem that XRP is solving. That Ripple is using XRP to solve, and they don't get it. But I'm going to share facts with you guys. Now, of course, um, here on JP Morgan's website, you can go read up on you know what they're saying here about their coin. It's a one to one redeemable um, in fiat currency held by JP Morgan. So it's a stable coin backed by the U.S. dollar. Now, what's the problem with that? Why why doesn't that affect XRP? Because XRP is not a stable coin. XRP is not within it, uh, any respective bank's ecosystem. It is across the board. It's global. It's worldwide. This doesn't JPM coin maybe solves JP Morgan's internal movement of money, but it's not going to solve the global movement of money cross border, which is what XRP does as a bridge asset, as a settlement currency. So Brad Garlinghouse addressed this head on today. He tweeted about it and he said, as predicted, banks are changing their tune on crypto, but this JPM project misses the point. Introducing a closed network today is like launching AOL after Netscape's IPO. Two years later, two years later the bank coins still aren't the answer. Now, what does he mean by two years later? He addressed this in 2016. He, he, this is where the Fudsters don't get it. This company, you think they didn't take into account that banks are going to try to create their own coin? Of course, that, that's logical, right? But the Fudsters, once again, these people are just running around trying to pull, pull down XRP, but they can't deal with the facts. And Brad Garlinghouse wrote a post here on LinkedIn saying this he said ubs deutsche bank santander and bny mellon announced their utility settlement coin a new digital asset they will hope 
they hope will become the industry standard for blockchain settlements. They expect banks will initially use the coin for post-trade settlement and clearing by early 2018 after they secure blessing from regulators and central banks. While this development signals significant market traction for an institutional use of digital assets, it, I have to say it's deeply misguided. A bank-issued digital asset can only really efficiently settled, settle between the banks who issued it. Then two scenarios can play out. Scenario one, all banks around the world put aside competitive and geopolitical differences. That ain't happening. Adopt the same digital asset, agree on its rules, and harmoniously, harmoniously govern its usage. Fat chance. Why the hell would a bank in Australia or Europe trust JP Morgan's coin, right? If it were to be used in that way, why would the Saudi Arabia banks or whatever is trust JP? Why would even Bank of America or Citibank trust JP? They're competitors. They are looking to outdo each other and make more profit than the other. So it goes back to the, the core issue of why XRP as a neutral bridge asset, um, it's, it can be used by multiple banks because it's not controlled by one bank entity, which at the end of the day, that bank entity, its job is to create what? Revenue and profit for its stockholders. So people, this is why I always say you have to think about the business aspect of this. And Brad calls it out here. Scenario two, uh, the more likely scenario, banks not in the issuing group issue their own digital assets from their own assets, uh, own sets of rules and governance. We're kind of seeing this lately, as FT points out from Cities, Cities, Citicoin and Goldman Sachs SETL coin. The result would be an even more fragmented currency landscape than what we have today. I'm gonna put a link to this post from Brad in the description. You guys can go ahead and read it in full because um, I don't want to read everything word for word. But he said, we strongly believe banks need an independent digital asset to enable truly efficient settlement. And we believe XRP is the best position for this role. So this has been addressed by Ripple since 2016. This is not something new or something that's not on their radar, guys. Of course, this logic would tell you that these banks would try to create their own, but it doesn't solve the problem that exists of communication and interbank settlements and, <clears throat> excuse me, cross-border payments and all that, right? You still have different currencies around the globe. Uh, banks and are not going to trust certain governments. They're not going to trust certain banks. You know, they're not, not everybody likes Jamie Dimon. Not everybody likes J.P. Morgan Chase. If I'm Bank of America or City, I want to destroy J.P. Morgan so I can be have the market share. That's competitive. That's capitalism. That's competitiveness between companies, right? Logic would tell you this. So the haters and the fudsters, and I even saw an article on Forbes, is saying this could threaten Ripple. Oh my gosh. And it's like, really? Do some research and you will know it does not. This is actually great for XRP. Let me explain. What Ripple is trying to do in working with banks and solve a problem, if you have one of the banks themselves looking to build something that helps them out internally, that only proves uh, the need for, for Ripple's technology, it gives validity to it. So even with the lawmakers and the regulators, if they say, hey, JP Morgan's doing this, Ripple's trying to bridge the gap between banks, it puts them in the same conversation. So I hope you guys understand that. This is good from that perspective, um, but this is not a threat to XRP. And that's why I'm saying, go read Brad Garlinghouse's uh, article. Don't move by your emotions here, read the facts. So I know a lot of people were getting like, whoa, my gosh, I'm, I'm scared. This is gonna, you know, no. This XRP is fine. XRP is way beyond what JP Morgan is trying to do here. And you can read it on JP Morgan's uh, website as well. And this is also, guys, in a very limited test at the moment. So um, this is not some like global rollout or anything. So they, I'm, I'm sure they're going to see if it works or not. Now, David Schwartz, Ripple CTO, also had responded on Twitter um, about a question like this, and he said, if banks respond by building walled gardens, we'll position XRP to bridge across those walled gardens. If they want one big walled garden to take over, they'll have to be as open as we are. So the banks are not going to do that. Uh, once again, given that their capitalism, competitiveness, they, they're not trying to... Um, 
position themselves where, oh yeah, I'm going to play nice with these guys um, when they're trying to make more revenue and trying to get more customers than the other guy, right? This is simple business logic here. Um, but if they use a platform, a solution that is um, not owned by a specific bank uh, that is on the open market, like XRP, different story. So just want to make sure you guys know about that. Um, Daily Hoddle did a great job about uh, addressing this. So uh, Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse says XRP will be any bank backed uh, crypto. They are referencing this post, uh, his tweet and his post. So uh, I, I like that they actually took a fact base like, hey, this has been tried before. Um, now, as far as going fully live, JP Morgan is the first, let's be honest, but the others, they created their own and did internal testing, um, but it did not work out because once again, why the hell would SBI want to work with JP Morgan's JPM coin, right? So think about it, guys, the facts, um, let's apply logic, business. Uh, look at it from a business standpoint as well. So no threat to XRP, so be confident in that aspect. Uh, now. Token Taxonomy Act, Warren Davidson tweeted the following. Thanks to all who have shared input. Uh, Darren Soto and I are excited about the revisions and look forward to reintroducing this bipartisan bill soon. We continue to inform our colleagues about the urgent need for light touch regulatory certainty. So it looks like there was some um, input from, I guess, from the other Congress, uh, all the folks in Congress, it appears, and it looks like they're going to be reintroducing um, with some revisions. So some progress being made. It's not going to happen overnight. Obviously, I would love for it to be approved right away, but we are at least hearing about it. We're seeing the, the, you know, the progress being made, um, and this is going to open the floodgates big time um, because it's going to position T utility tokens, cryptos outside of the existing securities laws, guys. So uh, just want to make sure you guys are under, um, uh, understand that. Maybe this will be reintroduced next week. Who knows, right? It, they, the revisions shouldn't take that long. So I know Warren Davidson and Darren Soda are trying to move as fast as possible. So shout out to both of them on that. Now, um, I kind of, I should, should have put this news with the Ripple news. But <laughs> anyway, Kuwaiti Bank signs Ripple deal to speed up payment. So um, we're seeing more and more banks and, and these com financial institutions signing up with Ripple um, just for cross-border payments, different solutions and so forth. So Ripple is, has banks working with them from across the globe, Middle East, South Pacific, wherever you can think about, there's banks and institutions working with them. So another, another big, um, uh, will uh, another big win here, excuse me. So ABK said it will be one of the new financial institutions to in Kuwait to reduce transaction times from days to a few minutes for its customers as part of an agreement. Uh, Al Ali Bank of Kuwait ABK on Thursday announced its partnership with financial technology firm Ripple to enable instant cross border payments for its customers and out of Kuwait. So uh, another major win here for the folks at Ripple and the bigger their network, the more opportunities for banks to use XRP via XRapid. Now I've been on the record, not every bank is going to use XRapid. It depends on what their problem is, where they're positioned, what, you know, what they're doing. So we have to be realistic about that, but we don't need every bank. We just need those who are moving a lot of money cross borders. And it's not even about how many bank it's banks. It's it's about the banks and how much money is actually being moved, meaning that one major bank could be moving uh, you know, twice as much as 10 smaller banks, right? So if you have that one major bank, it's actually um, equivalent to the, the other 10, if that makes sense. It, it's about the corridor and how much money is being moved there and, and the respective banks. So um, continual progress here and wins for Ripple, and that's why I'm bullish on XRP. The haters are going to come up with some crypto religious nut job stuff like bank coin, scammer coin. But at the end of the day, it's about facts. It's about logic. At the end of the day, these are businesses. This has to pan out to real world usage, right? It has to pan out to adoption or we're here. We're just, we're just, you know, spreading fluff. We're, we're just oh, we're speculating nonstop. These things have to be moved into utility. Um, now, 
We have some news here. CoinSquare acquires Stellar X. CoinSquare, Canada's largest cryptocurrency exchange, has acquired trading platform Stellar X, the company announced today. CoinSquare is the perfect fit. They uh, are already the leading Canadian crypto platform. They have a very close relationship with regulators in the US, Europe, and Canada, Stellar X wrote. Stellar X launched in September, touting itself among the world's first free crypto trading platforms. Platforms, if not the first, leading the firm will be uh, Mega Bambra, co-founder of Block EQ, which CoinSquare acquired in December. Why am I sharing this with you? We've been talking about watch what the money is doing, the big money. There's a lot of acquisitions being made, a lot of investments, um, expansions, new services, and look at mergers. Um, and this shows the money being invested in this market. So while you have guys like Jamie Dimon and you have your fudsters like that idiot Noriel uh, going around saying crypto is garbage, it's dead, it's this. That's all smokescreen. Behind the scenes, money being invested to build this market out. And that should give you confidence because the actions speak louder than the words, right guys? And finally, Baidu uh, launches plug and play blockchain platform for DApp, so decentralized apps. Chinese search giant Baidu has launched a blockchain platform aimed to simplify commercial deployment of decentralized apps or DApps, officially announced by Baidu Cloud on Thursday. Uh, the Baidu blockchain engine, BBE, platform is touted as a kind of operating system allowing developers to produce blockchain applications just like mobile apps and get around the storage and computing bottlenecks that are holding up blockchain's potential. So this is actually great news for you know platforms like your Tron and EOS and so forth. So continued adoption and integration, great sign. Baidu, big search engine in China. Um, so this will be like the equivalent of Baidu will be Google in in you know the United States and some in Europe and so forth. So continued progress. Uh, uh, you know, seeing this JP Morgan news, guys, um, took my confidence level in crypto, and I was already confident because we already have news of TD Ameritrade, Fidelity backed all that coming in. But the fact that this these people who have been, who have been so against crypto. Are now bending the knee and they're they're giving up. They're, right? They're saying, "Okay, we're gonna we, we got to give in. We got to give in. We got to create our own because this thing is for real." Um, I hope you. This is like a turning point in the market for some of you who some of you who still maybe on the fence. This is a major milestone, guys. This is a major. We have one of the largest banks, um, and it's amazing to see this happen. I, We've been hearing about, you know, banks will create their own, but to see it happen, especially from JP Morgan, major critic from, you know, the CEO, uh, Jamie Dimon, this is major. So, guys, the future is bright. We just got to be patient. And uh, what do you think about this news? Uh, leave your thoughts and comments below. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. If you'd like to support the channel, check out my Patreon group in the description uh, of the video as well. Guys, thank you for your support, and I'll talk to you all later. Yeah.